Hey, Steve here again with Texas Know How here on a beautiful sunny Saturday morning in League City, Texas. Oh my gosh, we just got through a major hurricane, um, Hurricane Harvey, and it's good to see the sun. It's good to see things drying out. But one thing I don't like is having to balance this pool again. I tell you what, that 50 inches of rainwater screwed up my whole pool, and so I'm adding salt. I'm adding all sorts of chemicals, and I am, uh, you know, just trying to get things balanced again, okay? Isn't that what life's all about? Just trying to keep things in balance. Well, that's what I'm trying to do with this pool. Just keep things in balance. Here's my beautiful saltwater pool. It's about 15,000 gallons. I added about five bags of salt after that big storm, and I think I'm right where I need to be as far as my salt levels go. Um, my uh, saltwater generator uh, kicked the bucket, and I had a, a tech out here uh, replacing the system here yesterday. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of walk you through uh, the Pentair IntelliCore IC40. I'm going to just do a, a boot up process and quickly, hopefully, explain some uh, information that you may need. Um, if you don't need this kind of information, if you don't need the uh, introductory uh, level information on this, just go ahead and push stop now and uh, I'll talk to you next time, okay? Well, anyway, let's get going. I'm gonna run on through here, and we're gonna go over to the pumps here, okay? We're gonna focus our attention to the pumps. Let me put my coffee down, and there's nothing more beautiful at 8 a.m. on a Saturday morning than a nice cup of java, isn't that right? Mm, I love it. All right, so we're gonna come over here to the control panel. I just popped it open. I'm gonna turn it off, because what I wanna do is I wanna start this process for you from the beginning. We're gonna reboot the system. All right, so here's the pumps, and here's the new salt generator that uh, was just installed. Uh, let me come on over here. And this is the Pentair IntelliCore IC40. There's different models. This is about the middle of the line one. Uh, it's about a nine, it, it can sell up to $900. So it's, uh, you know, it's kind of a, um, uh, you know, it's not cheap, all right? So, it, but it's so necessary on a saltwater pool. One of the misconceptions on the saltwater pool is that there's no chlorine. Is that true? No, I kind of gave you a little context clue there. I said misconception. There is chlorine in there. And how does it get there? You don't add chlorine tablets. Uh, you buy one of these uh, expensive little babies right here, okay? And you have it running, and what it does, it converts salt that you put into the pool into chlorine, okay? You have to have a certain chlorine levels. Uh, depends on the type of generator that you have. They're going to tell you what's the ideal parts per million salt to water parts per million so uh, they'd have a certain ratio that these uh, generators work on but uh, this one I believe is uh, 3600 the one I had before is 3400 parts per million this one's 36 and it does all the does all the uh, the work for you okay I'll tell you if it's high or if it's low um, and I'm gonna go over that here in a few minutes alright so we have the pumps turned off I'm gonna go ahead and turn them back on we're gonna let it go through its cycle I'm gonna show you what it's doing Okay, so let me come on over here. Let me kind of adjust myself so I can get a better readout for you on what's happening. And it looks like it's kind of, it's doing this thing right here. Okay, what it's doing, I want you to kind of pay mind to right here. Okay, there's three sections to this uh, generator. The first section, you see it's kind of going back and forth from green to red. It's a, it's a flashing, okay? That means it's going through its boot up process. And in the boot up process, it's trying to determine if your salt level is good. And uh, like I said before, the ideal salt level for this one is 3600 ppm or parts per million, okay? If it's not there, if it's too much salt in the pool, um, this is going to be, when it goes through its cycle, it's going to be a green flashing, okay? Green flashing. If it's a good salt level where you want to be and you just want to leave things alone, it's just going to be a steady green, okay? Now, if you need to add salt to the pool, because if you don't have salt in the pool, you're not going to have chlorine being generated. So it's going to glow red, okay? But since this is determining the salt level right now, it's just flashing back and forth. So we'll come back to this later and see where it's at, okay? The next one is the status section, okay? Um, if your system's off, cold water system off this will be glowing you don't want your system off if you're trying to make chlorine so that wouldn't be good you would need to check that your cell if it's glowing green 
that means it's good. If it's flashing, it means inspect yourself. How do you do that? Well, you twist off these two, um, uh, what would you call these? I don't know, nuts or whatever. And then you just lift this thing out. You look in here, and your cell is actually right here, okay? There's these cell plates in here. And what would probably, you would need to do is get some uh, muritic acid and, um, and uh, pour it in here and uh, get some of the calcium buildup off of those plates, okay? But look here, okay, it went through its cycle. So it's a steady green, meaning that my salt level in my pool is great. It's at the ideal salt range, 3,600 within that range, okay? So I don't need to do anything. I don't need to add salt. Um, I'm, I'm good where I need to be. If it was flashing red, that means there was too much salt. So what would I have to do? Yeah, that's right. I would have to drain some water from the pool and then add some fresh water without salt, just some fresh water, and then try to balance it out that way, okay? So you don't want too much salt in the pool. Because if you did, what it could do is it could uh, mess up your, your generator here, and you don't want that, okay? You don't want any problems with that. Because you know why? Yeah, that's right, because it's about $900. All right, so let's come back over here. Now, the flow is good too. Green, oh, can you see that? I'm just trying to, there we go. Green, steady green is what you want. Okay, in all this you want something steady, okay? Steady green is what you want. What does that mean? It means the flow of water that's coming from here through the generator out here and cycling through, you know, a continuous cycle. Um, it means there's good flow. If it was red, it means that there was no flow or the system was off um, or there could be maybe like an obstruction in there. Okay, what can obstruct it? Well, anything, okay? Uh, you know, you could have like a calcium buildup in there. You could have uh, maybe a, um, a debris in there that got kind of past the baskets. Um, and so what you would need to do is you would need to take the, um, this generator off, look in there and see what's making this blockage because you want to make sure there's that steady flow in there, okay? And every three months you want to take this off anyway and uh, you want to uh, pour like a mixture of like water and muritic acid in there and be super careful. Look up uh, videos on how to do that and I'll probably do that one in about three months when I need to clean this thing um, because, you know, muritic acid, um, you know, you don't want to inhale that. Uh, you don't want that splashing in your eyes, getting on your skin. I mean, it can cause you some severe problems. So be super careful when you're, uh, when you're around that stuff. Um, uh, but, you know, what they'll do is when you pour that mixture in here, um, you want to probably cap off one end of the generator, pour that mixture in there, let it bubble and do its work, and get all that, uh, that buildup off of those cell plates, okay? And then pour it out. Um, I, I actually just pour it back into the pool and then um, and rinse it with some clean water and then reinstall it, okay? And that's a whole separate tutorial. That's just a little rundown, so don't, don't, you know, don't do that based on what I just said. Watch someone do it first and always use glasses. I use, even use a face mask, okay? I don't wanna breathe any of those fumes in, have any kind of respiratory problems from that. Okay, so anyhow, um, let's go back here. Now, we're good here. Salt level is good. Uh, the status, uh, looks good, okay, the cell is green, uh, you know, good, flow is perfect, okay, so what we want to do here is go sanitize our output. What does that mean? That means how much, what percentage of um, salt is being converted into chlorine? Let me say that again. What percentage of salt is being converted into chlorine based on the time the pump is running? So, look at this. I got a little secret for you. Look at this. Oh, yeah. You didn't know about that, did you? Look at that. I'll do that again in case you missed it. Oh, yeah. Slide up. Okay? A little, se little Scooby secret slide. Um, if you need to adjust your sanitizer output, you're going to slide it up, and you got two buttons, okay? It, I don't know how much more simpler it can be. Less or more. Less or more. Okay? And you notice here, I don't know if you can see it, but it goes in increments of 20. 20%, 40, 60, 80, 100. I have it at 80. I've, uh, I've kind of through the uh, years uh, determined that 80% is kind of the sweet spot here uh, for my pool. If I run the pool six to eight, eight hours a day, uh, run the pumps, um, if I'm at 80%, my uh, chlorine level um, is um, ideal. It's in the range I want it to be. 
Um, you know, your pool might be different, um, whatever the case might be, based on the where you live, uh, the size of your pool, everything else. Uh, but 80% for me is good, so um, it might be different for you. But let's let's, let's just imagine that um, we had a lot of rain. Okay, a lot of a lot of rainwater got into the pool and kind of diluted the uh, the salt to water ratio. What do I want to What do I want to do then? Yeah, that's right. Okay, I heard someone say. It. You want to increase your level of sanitizer output. So if I was at 80 and I needed more chlorine in there, my chlorine dropped after a rain because of all the rainwater, I'm gonna go up to 100. Oh yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go to 100, so check it out. Let's imagine that. We're just playing, we're, this is just make believe, right? So now I'm gonna go ahead and push it one time and you notice it went up, I'll do it again. I'm gonna push it one time and now it's 100%. What does that mean? That means whenever I'm running the pumps, 100% of the time that I'm running the pumps, salt is being converted into chlorine, okay? If I'm at 80%, that means 80% of the time that I'm running the pumps, salt is being converted into chlorine, okay? If I'm wrong about that, if I'm not getting that right, just leave a nice friendly comment, okay? And we'll fix that, okay? We'll clarify that, but as far as I know, that's what it's doing, okay? Now, you can go all the way down to 20% if you want to. I've never gone that low, okay? I don't believe in going that low, but if I had to, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Anyway, all right, so now let's imagine um, you just had a, you just went through a major hurricane. I don't, I, I don't have to make believe that, I just did. We went through Hurricane Harvey here. We had 50 inches of rain. And guess what that did? It screwed up everything. Like I told you before, the pool was so unbalanced. It had no chlorine, it had no salt, because I kept having to drain the pool um, inch, two inches about every hour because, because it was just coming down so fast and furious. So what does that do? It's putting just more rainwater in there, it's getting rid of all the chemicals when I'm draining it, it's getting rid of all the salt when I'm draining it, so you know, you get the picture. So um, I wanted to do a boost. So let's just say like I, I, I fill the pool back up, it's at, the, it's at the level it needs to be as far as water goes, the chlorine's low, I'm gonna go ahead and do a boost. What, do I, what does that mean? That means for 24 hours that the pump is running, okay? Even if the pump turns off and it comes back on, it, it calculates for 24 hours, there's like a timer, it's gonna produce 100% of salt to chlorine for that 24 hours that the pump is running. And then I think it reverts back to wherever you had it. If you had it at 80 before, it just goes back to 80 at that point. It kind of just like levels off at that point. So how do you do that? Well, it's real simple. You only have two buttons, right? So you want to push those two buttons simultaneously. Simultaneously means what? That's right, at the same time. Let's go ahead and do that. Boom, I did it. And it didn't do what it was supposed to do. <laughs> Hold on, let's go again. Simultaneously, <laughs> hold on. There we go. Oh my gosh, I don't know what's going on. It wasn't supposed to do that. Let's do it again. Three times a charm. Well folks, we got a little malfunction. I'm gonna have to see what's going on. <laughs> what it was supposed to do, okay, when you push those simultaneously, what it's supposed to do is it's supposed to just, those lights from 20 to 100 is gonna be flashing across, okay, flashing across, flashing across, flashing across. And that's the indicator that it's in boost mode. It didn't do that, all right? I did it earlier. Uh, I did it yesterday, it worked fine. I did it just now. I don't know why it's not doing it. Uh, let's try it one more time. Hold on one second. All right, so it's back at 100, right? I think what it was is I was at 100% already. Okay, that's what it was. I was at 100% already, so why would you boost it at 100? Okay, so it's at 80 now. I, I put it down to 80, and now I'm gonna go ahead and do this simultaneously. And then it should work. Boom! Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? All right, hold on. Okay, well, I kinda explained what it's supposed to do. It didn't do it. I'm gonna have to go back to the drawing board on that one, but um, you get the picture. It should work uh, one, for one reason or another. It's not, I won't waste any more of your time as far as that goes. All right, so I can give you a, a little rundown. Hopefully you got something out of this. This is Steve with Texas Know How, and 
enjoy your day.